Hello, this is the official video for jailbreaking your iPod Touch 1.1.2. If you're sick of looking around all over Google and uh, YouTube, then um, this is the video for you. I'm going to do this in one video and show you how to do it. Okay, so before we begin, you need to know that you are voiding your warranty on your iPod Touch by hacking it. So if anything goes wrong for some reason, then it's your fault. And don't worry though, because I've had no problems. I've downloaded tons of games, tons of applications, so it really shouldn't be a problem. Now I've put a link in the right of this video. The first link you see, it's Touch Dev, and when you open it on your computer, it should look like that in your web browser. And it has five simple steps to jailbreaking your iPod Touch. Now you can just go ahead and do this and turn off the video right now if you want but if you'd like a visual aid um, I'm doing this on a Mac and yes it does work for PC but I'm using a Mac and if you want a visual aid and uh, someone who also lo likes hacking iPods um, like me then then stick around for this video because I'm gonna be your visual aid now the first thing you want to do before we begin everything is go to that first step it says to download that firmware right there Go ahead and download it. I right click and then download linked file. I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to. So go ahead and download that. <clears throat> and then scroll down to step 5. In step 5 it also has one other thing you need to download which is 1.1.2 jailbreak. So go ahead and download that. I already have that downloaded. And then pause this video and when the first thing that you downloaded is done and turn the video back on so once you have um, downloaded that file open it up and just take a look at it I have it saved right in there wherever you saved it just open it up and there it is right there and the ending should be an IPSW if it doesn't look like that then you need to fix that by just typing it in and changing it alright and so go ahead and exit out and you should have iTunes 7.5 if you don't then update to it um, what you're gonna do is your things should look like this 1.1.2 go to check for update but before you click it I want you to press down the option key and hold it hold the option key and press check for update and this window is gonna open when it opens you'll see that file that you just downloaded double click that right there double click it I've already done it so I'm not going to when you double click it a window will pop up saying it's extracting the the files and basically you just have to sit there for a couple minutes while it uh, downgrades your iPod touch 1.1.2 to 1.1.1 when that's done um, you can pause the video now um, but turn it back on as soon as that's done when it's done downgrading it's probably going to reboot and uh... it'll reboot and then it'll come back up on itunes and when you see it the software version should be 1.1.1 that's how you know you did it right the next step is go to your ipod touch get away from the computer turn it on and go to your safari web browser and go to jailbreakme.com I'll put that link up in the right of this video, jailbreakme.com. You need to go there while, see this is the app snap installer. This is what's going to basically let you do your thing. Go to the bottom, at the very bottom it says install app snap, and there is a warning about voiding your warranty. So hit that, and yours should just go off of the screen and go straight to the home. And then it's going to say downloading, and it's going to show a, per show a percentage. And when that's done downloading, then this little icon's going to pop up. So feel free to pause this video whenever you need to while all this is happening. But as soon as it's going to say downloading, extracting this, that, and the other. And then this is going to come up after you uh, reboot it. It's the installer. Now you're going to hit that installer. and it's going to open up like this and it's going to say refreshing sources but eventually this is going to come up after it loads 
And you're going to see these five icons down here. Those are very, very important. You're going to hit install. This is this whole program is going to let you install all of this. Games, everything that you're going to need. So go to all programs. Or all packages, sorry. Okay. All packages. And scroll down to O, Octo Prep. You're not going to see it in mine because I've already downloaded it. But we'll go all the way to the O's and it'll say Octo Prep. Click it. And up in the corner it's going to say install. All you have to do is click install. And that little pop up is going to happen. You just click install. And it's going to install Octo Prep. When that happens, it's going to take you back to this list of all these things. Just go home. And it's going to give you a little spin wheel turn off, turn on really quick and then you just open it up again and you're not going to see OctoPrep when it's installed. OctoPrep is just some uh, something that's going to help help this get the job done. So as soon as you're done um, downloading installer then down the installing OctoPrep, don't install anything else. I know there's games and all that, don't download it yet. Just download OctoPrep and go back to your iTunes and you're going to hit check for update and that's once you hit that it's going to give you a pop-up I already have this on there but it's going to give you a pop-up for upgrading to 1.1.2 go ahead and accept it and you're going to upgrade to 1.1.2 from your 1.1.1 after you've done those steps You're going to have to sit tight for a little bit longer while it um, upgrades. And then as soon as it's done upgrading, you absolutely have to do this. It's going to reboot once or twice like it did before when you did the 1.1.1 downgrade. See here, you're just going to go to the list and you're going to see your iPod. You're going to need to eject that. Eject it and then quit iTunes. You have to do this or else it's not going to work. Just quit iTunes. And once you do that, you can go back to where you saved the second thing that you downloaded, which is the 1.1.2 jailbreak. That's, what, that's the second file we downloaded earlier. All you're going to do is open that up wherever you saved it. And there it is right there, 1.1.2 jailbreak. Just click that. And then you can waste your time and read the README and whatever else. Or you can jailbreak your iPod and hit that. Double click it. That's going to pop up. You're going to want to install SSH. Just go ahead and hit the box. And the root password is Alpine. No matter who you are, what you're doing, that's going to be the password every time. Alpine. Ignore. Boot from recovery. And just hit jailbreak. And it's going to jailbreak your iPod Touch. This has been a video on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 1.1.2. If you have any questions or need help, just email me. I put it in the right of this video. If you'd like to learn how to download old school Nintendo games, regular games, um, features on how to customize your iPod the way it looks, the icons, all the programs, everything, on the right I have other videos um, to show you how to do that. So I hope I helped you. Congratulations on jailbreaking your iPod Touch.